Hello guys, welcome to the DMS Online School. In this video, we are going to do a quick revision um, on a topic in chemistry, which is the extraction of metals. We are going to look at a question in chemistry on a topic known as extraction of metals. So let's go straight into this quick revision. So the question is a revision on extraction of metals and uh, the question reads c2 zinc blender is one of the holes of zinc metal a state the chemical name of zinc blender so the chemical name of zinc blender is known as zinc sulfide so in answering we we'll say the answer here is zinc sulfide like that okay you can also put it in brackets as zinc like that then sulfide like that okay then let's go to our next question our next question says describe how zinc metal is extracted from zinc blended include the necessary balanced chemical equations okay so six marks here so we will describe how zinc metal is extracted from the old zinc blended and we have also to include the necessary chemical equation so the first thing we are going to say is that uh, first thing we will say zinc metal or zinc blended is roasted in air to obtain zinc oxide so we'll show the equation where we put the equation zinc blender which is zinc oxide i mean zinc sulfide like this solid plus oxygen gas like that then once this is, is roasted then we get zinc oxide like that solid plus sulfur dioxide gas like that now remember they want balanced chemical equation so here zinc is one zinc is one sulfur is one sulfur is one oxygen is two here here oxygen is two i mean one and two three so we make it even let's add the two here so that oxygen is two plus two four then here we need also to make it four so add a two there but before we add a two let's balance zinc also here by putting a two here because zinc has become two here now that zinc has become two, sulfur has also become two. So we can put a two here to make sulfur a two. So sulfur is a two here. Now that sulfur has become a two, and there are two, oxygen has become a two here. Then a two again times two here, four. So oxygen has become four, then plus these two here, six. So to make it also six here, we'll add a three here. So that three times two, becomes the six then the next step is that the zinc oxide is reacted with the carbon so again here we'll say zinc oxide is reacted with carbon to obtain zinc metal so obtain zinc metal here so the equation again is zinc oxide so you write zinc oxide solid plus carbon solid then this one will give us 
zinc metal, which is usually in molten, we can put liquid or gaseous state, then plus, then we can have um, carbon monoxide here, which is a gas there. So this equation is balanced, zinc 1, zinc 1, then oxygen 1, oxygen 1, carbon 1, carbon 1. Okay, then the next question says, state two uses of zinc metal. So we state the two uses of zinc metal. So number one, in the galvanizing Gauva. Gauva. Nizing iron to prevent heat from rusting. Oh, sorry. So we can also say the second use is in forming alloys such as brass with copper. Okay, then the last question says, suggest one environmental problem that is a consequence of extraction of metals. So there are many consequences or environmental problems that are a consequence of extraction of metals. In this case, there's this gas which is produced here, sulfur oxide. So sulfur oxide is actually a acidic gas it's an acidic oxide which when dissolved in water produces the actual uh, sulfurous acid there. So this is an environmental problem as well. So we can say air pollution is one of them. Then the second one we can also say acid rain then we can also mention another one if we want as the environmental degradation actually so or environmental destruct a, a degradation or loss of habitat habitat of some animals because mining activities requires that, that um, a bigger land is used in the mining activities and because of that these animals insects and plants for instance which are living uh, things lose also habitat Okay, so guys, we've come to the end of this quick chemistry revision. I hope you enjoyed it. For now, guys, bye and see you in the next video.